Hey everyone, Lensmanos here and welcome to another First Look game. Today's game is Lure and the Dim Settlers, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Um, this is a demo, it's available over on Steam, if you follow the link down below um, you'll be able to grab the demo yourself. Uh, so the developer actually reached out to me directly and uh, let me know about the game and threw a press key my way, but it is still the demo version that I'm playing right now. Uh, so I'll read the Steam blurb as always. Miniature survival builder, perfect for short and relaxing gaming sessions. Rebuild and manage your realm, collect resources and decide the fate of your people. Explore the darkness and unveil the secrets of the black monoliths to bring back light to the world. So I am playing this blind. I have watched a little bit of footage of others play. Um, not a great deal, but uh, I'm going to play this pretty much as it is. So uh, there is no release date as of yet. It's to be announced uh, and uh, devved and published by the by the dev, uh, Darren Keller. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Again, it's very it's quite a minimalistic game. So this is our menu. I'm using a, an Xbox controller. Uh, so let's hit play. OK. And Settler sounds like a good thing. A forgiving, turn-based, cosy experience to relax. I like that. Would you like to play this level in Settler game mode? Sure. Let's grab a bit of a... Okay. Still very tired. Darkness invaded your realm and you woke me up to help you restore it. Quite the task. Alright, let's begin by building the biggest city we can in 200 days. But first, we need food to welcome more people. Let's hunt in the forests. Okay, hunt in the forests. I'm just going to try the A button. Yep. Shoot at the prey. Okay. Oh, the running ones. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Most actions like hunting consume workforce. Let's build some tents to produce more workforce. Every day. That's really loud. <laughs> There's no volume control in the game. It's just on or off. Place the tents near your encampment to benefit from adjacency bonuses. And I am actually going to have to drop the audio just a touch. Uh, using the Windows volume mixer. Let's go with that. Alright. So if it wants us to build tents next to your encampment, we'll put it here. Build tents. No job. However, to construct more tents, we'll need food. Lying solely on hunting isn't reliable enough. Let's build a wheat field to produce food every day. If you don't have enough workforce to build it, simply wait a few days. Don't wait too long. We must complete the city within 200 days. Okay, so I have... Uh... I don't know where my workforce numbers are. Can I build a wheat field? Uh, I have 15. Okay, there we go. So top left. I don't know if I can get a mouse cursor on here. Uh, top left up there, you got the little person. And it says I've got 15. I'm actually going to have to wait a day. Oh, I'm going to have to wait two days. Because it's plus three a day. Okay, so push Y to pass the day. You get 18. I have to pass another day. All right, so let's build a wheat field. Fantastic. Now we will get more food every day. Oh, but I should certainly use my powers, right? Certain buildings, like your encampment, generate light. I can consume this light to illuminate darkness. Do you see those gloomy purple squares? Let's illuminate them. That one, maybe? Illuminate. Okay, uh, so I have five. It's going to take two away to do this. It's sheep there. And I need to do one more. Which one should I do? Let's do this one. Nope. It's going to cost me three. Can I order it? That's going to cost me three. Yes, I can't. Nope. No more illuminating today. Uh, let's build. 
Don't have the food. I've only got two food. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait a day. Okay, I've got three of this. Let's... Well done. Now you can do whatever you want on those squares. Remember, the more we illuminate darkness, the stronger it resists. Choose your actions wisely. There are plenty of forests around here. Perhaps we should chop down some of them to make room for more buildings. Okay. It's going to cost me five. Okay, cool. Let's chop it down. Okay. <laughs> Put a little mini game. Okay. Even obtained materials from the wood. Don't waste space. Build more to produce more. Okay, build more buildings. So probably... Put a lumberjack cabin. Do nothing. We're getting plus four a day. Yeah, I need another day worth. And then let's build some more of this. Cool. What can we do here? Build a pasture. Slaughter everything. No, we'll build a pasture and that'll hopefully... Okay. Can I do this? Open the treasure. Wood. Uh, what do I need? I need 20 and 20. Ugh. Not getting much food. Do I have to hunt? Oh, got him. Perfect. A bear emerged from the forest and started roaring at you. Kill the bear. Nice. Bears are almost extinct. Uh, was it really necessary? No, but food. So I just need peoples to build the pasture. Okay. Do I do this? Destroyed windmill. Repair the windmill. 20 workforce. Read the note. Farm has been deserted, but the windmill can be repaired. It's a note on the door. Without light, my crops have failed, and with them, my livelihood. To survive, I made difficult decisions that go against my moral compass. I can feel myself becoming a different person. A person I do not recognise. This has to stop. I will plant my last seeds and care for them until the end. Okay. That's very dark. Sorry, I had to. Uh, 20. Okay, pasture. And then you need... That. We probably need to look at... Bring some more um, tents down. Forest needs time to regrow from the meadow, and we lack material. Let's build a lumberjack's cabin on one of the forests. Okay. The more forests around the cabin, the more material it produces. I get it. So if we put it like here, you'll get these two once we unlock them. The lumberjack cabin is going to cost me 50 workforce. We got 200 days, right? Upgrade your encampment to a town hall. It will give you science, a rare resource to upgrade buildings. But be careful, the town hall will consume food every day. Okay. Town hall. It'll cost me 20, 20 workforce. Let's unlock that. And that one. Oh. We can repair the houses. Read the note. 
Those houses have been abandoned for a long time. Look, there's a note on the table. Darkness moves with a will of its own, devouring all in its path. It first came from the corrupted island in the east. We can't continue living here. We must leave. May the light guide us. Okay. Mouse. I eliminate this. Oh, I don't have enough. Well, that was eight. Wow. Mm. Use your science to upgrade one of your buildings. Most of them can be upgraded, so give a good look at all of them. Uh, build a tannery. Build a carpentry workshop. Build a forge. Hmm. So it does that then default to So if I build a tannery I get more materials? Did you notice the windmill and lumberjack also consume workforce every day? Should have enough production before building stuff. Key to a thriving city resides in building placement and resource balance. And build at random, make good use of the adjacency bonus. Be exploring and learn how to use the other buildings. So this obviously gets a bonus. So again, like, this is getting... This, if I unlock this one... Yeah, see so we're getting a, a bonus to here. Nice. Building tents. Maybe? Uh, maybe we want to expand a bit more. Bit more. The question mark here, do I... Water. I'm going to take ten. This is a black monolith. They fell from the sky years ago and engulfed the world into darkness. We should destroy it to reduce the cost of illumination. It might have other effects that we'll have to find out ourselves. It's going to cost me 50 people. Okay. I potentially need to, like, illuminate. Your sheep are in love. You can breed them. They need empty adjacent plains or meadows to breed, though. If you're lucky, they might naturally breed at some point. Okay. So, again, it's 11. They'd probably, like, illuminate this one. I mean, things are easier. Okay, so it's dropped. If I eliminate this one. Finally, I found you, whatever you are. Darkness. What's that? A dark storm. Darkness is spreading from it. Storm never lasts forever. You need to survive until it dissipates. Don't let it take out a town hall. It's right next to my town hall. What? How do I stop you? It cost me. Oh, duh. Uh, so thanks. Like you dropped directly on. Yep. There's only a small one. And your plans. We need to protect the fort against future storms. Merely stockpiling light won't be enough to such low production. We should increase our light production and push back the darkness. Let's purge our territory from the storm gusts. 
Face darkness with your sword, okay. Cool, let's give it a go. Fair enough. Uh. Read it, dark particles. The next storms will be stronger. Build a church next to our tents. I still need to kill this one off. And from oh my gosh, things are different, aren't they? Oh, missed one. Uh, the church here. Or here. Church is hundred people. People are hungry. Give them food. Uh, one of them. We're not producing enough light. The next storm would crush us. Okay, so a lighthouse as well. Um, little tents. <laughs> Let's find and destroy dark monoliths. Too weak in darkness. Well, I did that. I got rid of one. Okay, I might eliminate this. Build a mine, build an observatory. Observatory is going to give me a lot more light. Like, ideally, I wanted to build food here. food right I mean, plus three a day of food plus five a day of materials plus three a day of people and plus five a day of oh here we go what are you a light breach collect light mm -hmm. light particle okay Goodness me, whatever that did. Another one here too. <laughs> Love the little noises. I think they're great. Uh, we got another one here we can collect. Oh, there's a monolith. Got it. More upgraded building would be nice. Let's upgrade your town all into a fort. I'll upgrade like this. Build the temple. The fort's going to just need 50 people. More than ready for the next storm, right? While we wait, let's expand our territory. Remember to keep some light. Put some light. I need to do 
Group of refugees. Welcome them. Welcome refugees. We got the food. Plus two a day. Uh, like. Res are cheaper and more powerful. Can do that. Build houses. Sure. Yeah, okay. Oh, if I open this one up. Yeah, we get the extra light. Look at that. So I'm getting the two. Probably should have built the thing there, right? The, the lighthouse here with all this water surrounding it. Even better. I mean, like... Destroy one and open the other. Pasture around it. Isn't it plus food and... Sure. Got a lot of light. Chest. Uh, do I build more food here? Okay, so things are getting big. Yeah, see, that would have been perfect. A little extra light to get in there. I'm getting plus two. That's taking four a day, though. If I build one here. Hmm. Oh, does it only get direct bonus? Oh, it's only direct next to it. Okay. Hello, we got sheep. Sheeps. Get some sheeps. Build a weaving mill. Don't do anything on here. Oh, mm -hmm. collect some more light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, that was terrible. What can I do on here? Build a ziggurat. What does that give me? This gives me light. Don't, I don't like it. Give me there. Oh my god. This, I built it. I just literally built the thing and it collapsed. Oh boy. I've only got you build another light well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A light breach thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. E. Be another storm at some point. Push out this way. Wow, that's expensive to destroy. Here we go. Yeah, you look after that. Two storms at the same time. Alright, let's come down. We mustn't let the darkness reach our fort or it's game over. Remember how the first storm weakened over time? We need to hold out long enough. Perhaps we should try illuminating the hearts of the storms before they spread. Well, this one's really close, so like... Cool. That was... Okay. Getting the hang of it right, we might actually make a great team. The last storm will crush you. Yeah, it probably will. Fair. We'll need a significant amount of light. Yes. More 
It's more than time to upgrade our fort into a castle, right? So, castle. We need a hundred food. We'll need an incredible amount of light to survive the last storm. Let's increase our light production even more. Okay, so for me that means maybe putting a a lighthouse here, which just needs some food. I run out of time actually. Wait for the final storm. Let's unlock this one. And that gives me the ability to get plus four. I'm out of food though. Can I hunt? Bang them. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Collect all this light up. Nice. Another light well here. Hey. Right. Where else should I spread? I mean, we've got lots of things out here. Um, this here don't have enough people I don't know whether to industrialists produce five plus uh, five a day of all resources before day 200 we're doing that so this now gives us nine a day it's all right uh, you're I mean, I could do that. Alright. I don't want to do this. That's probably not the best. We're getting towards the end. Um, what a good stockpile of of light, I think. Yeah, there we go. Yep, so three of them coming at me. Don't let darkness reach our castle, or it's over for us. We've prepared for this. Let's give it our all. So, this one's closest, so let's attack it first. 280. Oh, 274 I lost. Wow, that was a lot. Um, I'll take 280 as well. I'm not going to have enough to do the next round. Well, wow. <laughs> that was kind of terrible. I do not have enough to hit this one because it's going to be 280 as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was terrible. Um, what do you hear? Can I pray? Oh. I'm terrible. Uh, the light wells aren't ready yet. I have to go another day. 214. Should I pray again? I can't. Ugh. 
Use it 280. I'm only getting 10 a day. What's 168? <laughs> we made it. We are not done. Now that this region is secure, we can continue restoring your realm. I wonder who this guy is, though. I guess we'll meet him again. You won. But this is just a demo, so the next levels are not available to you. More. In the next levels, you will fight bandits, the Dark Cult, and other monsters. You'll go deeper into darkness, save humanity's knowledge, and build the Tower of Light. You like the games? Tell your friends about it, yeah. Go ahead. Um, sure, we'll just continue for a minute. I will illuminate this guy and get it back. Cool. But so, that, it's a good indicator of, of the game. So this is, again, it's a fairly simple um, strategy game. It is classed as a city builder as well, or real-time strategy. But um, go ahead and check out the link down below. Grab the demo for yourself if you want to play through, because it's a pretty cool little game. Now illuminate more, and you know we can expand and try and get more and more. And you only get two hundred days, but and expand and and get back to um, play through again. But for now, thank you all for watching. Go and check out Lua and Dim Settlers at the link below. And I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. And I will see you next time. Again, big shout out and thanks to the dev for giving me the key. But demos are available. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.